So I'm down here in our basement, which has zero natural light. But uh, Mama hasn't washed eggs in a couple days. I got a lot of eggs to wash. So, we're going to chat about something that I get asked about a lot while I'm washing eggs. So, something that I very frequently get asked about is how we do kid snacks. What do we feed our kids for snacks? Like, oh goodness, these children are always hungry. Why are they always hungry? Well, first of all, we don't do kid snacks. Um, if there's granola bars or crackers in our house, it's not for eating at home. Um, we do keep things like crackers and granola bars for um, like if Marius takes the kids fishing or hunting, which he does like every week, um, just so that um, there's something easy for him to grab for like Mac packs their bag when they go fishing and hunting. So it's easy for Mac to just grab some granola bars and fill up water bottles. At home though, so how we structure meals is that for the most part, breakfast and lunch are focused on protein and carbs. And at dinner, there's vegetables, um, but mostly the focus is protein and carbs. I find trying to get my kids to eat too many different things at one meal is a recipe for me to go crazy. So we do protein and carbs at meals. And in between meals, whenever we get that, I'm hungry, we say fruits or vegetables, fruits or vegetables. So now our kids are trained that they just know fruits or vegetables. And if they're like, I don't want any vegetables. Well, if you're not hungry enough to eat a carrot, you're not very hungry, you know? I apologize for the bad lighting, but we're just taking advantage of me standing in one place for a while. So, you know, and then you go, well, then my kids will just eat like $50 of fruit in one day. Well, here's the thing. You eat one or two pieces of fruit and then I'm hungry. Okay, vegetables. Carrots, cucumbers, peppers are always in our fridge. Carrots, cucumbers, peppers. I hear you, Mac or Ham, whoever's up there. Ham, is that you? Mm. Answer me, please. Mm -hmm. It's Mac. Mac, I feel like you haven't done the pigs yet. I just did. Okay, go check where Ham's at. If there is... So then you say, well, then I'm going to throw a lot of fruits and vegetables. Well, carrots and apples are cheap, relatively. You know, they're fairly inexpensive. You don't have to prep them. Maybe for smaller kids, you cut them up. We pretty much always have apples, oranges, carrots, peppers, cucumbers. Easy for the kids to snack on. Um, and then... Our next step, if they've eaten fruits and vegetables, they're still hungry and there's still a while till dinner or till lunch or whatever, um, then we say nuts. Then they can have some nuts. Um, or if they ask for nuts first, then sure, you can have some nuts first. But kind of like those three things, fruits, vegetables, nuts. Um, and for me, not having to decide what they can eat every time, not having to like think on it, not having to go through that process every time, gets rid of a lot of decision fatigue for me. So I have an automated response. I don't have to think on it. I'm hungry, fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables. And I can just keep saying fruits and vegetables. Now, we have a few exceptions. Um, quite often, we will have a mid-afternoon popcorn. Um, make homemade popcorn. We have an air popper, butter, and then sometimes we like the popcorn seasonings that are kind of naughty and fun. Um, or we'll have nutritional yeast or salt or whatever. And, um, but not if it's too close to dinner because I don't want them to get so full they don't eat dinner. 
Um, another exception is if I have like cookies or baking or something and they would like some of those. As long as they ate their previous meal, then sure, you can. And, but again, fruits and vegetables first. So you're not gonna catch me like cutting fruit into fun shapes or things like that. It's just, I don't think that snacking needs to be such a big deal. I'm not going to not allow them to snack because I enjoy snacking too. So it just, by making it something that's simple that I don't have to prep, it means that snacking doesn't have to be such a big deal. So maybe this wasn't as like groundbreaking as you were hoping for, but honestly, I think as many things as I can keep simple in my house, I like to keep simple. Um, I don't like buying packaged kid snacks. You know, I find they just go way too quickly and they just, they don't really give the kids much and they don't really get full on them. So it's kind of just a waste of my time. And they also eat a lot of frozen fruit. Like they'll just eat it straight from the freezer. And that's helpful because it's, you know, it's often cut up already and they'll just get a little bowl and they'll just eat themselves some frozen fruit. And if you're consistent, if you're consistent and if you keep with the same answers, and if you stop buying those kids snacks stuff, your kids will get used to it. Um, I know there are some kids who don't like raw vegetables. I'm sure there's one raw vegetable they like. I don't know. Um, my kids don't really like cooked fruits and vegetables, but they've always liked raw fruits and vegetables. The other thing about kids' snacks is this. You don't have to be making every snack. The reason why we have snacks simple as fruits and vegetables is that I don't have to make them. You know, Freya can get her own carrot from the fridge. Max started making popcorn with an air popper when he was six. You know, they, they can do this themselves. It teaches them the autonomy. It means that you don't have to be, you're not their slave. Stop being your kid's slave and teach them to do things themselves. When I get stuck in cycles of like, all I'm doing is repetitive, monotonous tasks, like getting kid a snack and folding laundry and putting laundry away and washing dishes and getting kid a snack, la la la, I go crazy. Step back, mamas. Let your kids get their own snack. Make it simple. Stop buying the packaged kid junk. Figure out what your snack rule is. My kids don't really like eating cheese, otherwise I'd add cheese in there too. But just figure out what your snack rules are. Make yourself an automated answer. So when someone says, I'm hungry, you can be like, cheese, nuts, carrot. Right? It's easy. Okay, you've already had cheese? Okay, nuts or carrot. Right now, Mac just went around me to go get some frozen fruit from the fridge from the freezer, sorry. This afternoon, they had pizza for lunch. They had peanuts for a snack. They had some watermelon. What else did we have this afternoon, Mac? My kids have always been grazers. It's fine. They eat decent meals, they eat decent snacks. The other thing is if my kids are like starving and dinner's not ready yet, I'll feed them vegetables, like here's a bowl of cut up cucumbers or something. Because if they fill up on cucumbers, who cares? It's cucumbers, that's fine. 